Go for it. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Today we're going to be answering a fairly unique question. How dangerous are blank guns? In this case, we've got two different contenders. This is an Echo Aussie. It's a 9mm front firing blank gun. It's fully automatic, so it shoots about 1,000 rounds a minute, which is like 16 or 17 per second. It's got a nice folding stock. And yeah, we're going to see what that looks like. How much damage does it do to your face or to some of these other objects? Up against it, from Phoenix Rising Exotic Ammunition is a military grade flashbang that we're gonna fire out of a 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch uh, shell. It says here that it's 180 plus decibel blast with a blinding white flash. Wow. And in big letters, it says do not shoot indoors. Well, we're not so. gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess to put that into some perspective, most guns range from like 120 to 160, maybe 170 decibels when you get up to the larger end calibers for okay. rifles and shotguns, but this is 180 decibels and that's a logarithmic scale. So that's gonna be really loud. So maybe we'll catch a really sharp shockwave off of that sucker. I'm hoping so. Yeah. And for it, we've just got a nice Remington 870, 12 gauge. So I feel a little bit inadequate right now. <laughs> I don't know, the full auto is pretty cool. <laughs> you versus ballistic high speed. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, this should be a fun episode, answer some useful questions that some people may have. And we've got, of course, a bust from Ballistic Dummy Lab. He's always kind enough to send out these really cool targets. This should give a pretty good analog on what these will do to a face if you happen to get shot by one and also some other fun targets here. So yeah. Hear quite a bit how dangerous they can be. Yeah. So, so let's we'll, find out. we'll find out and we'll see it in glorious high speed. Let's do it. You got the 10 round mag in? Yep. Okay. Try to get some placement from the mouth up to the eyebrow. Okay. I'm ready. Go for it. Oh my goodness. It kind of scared me. So 10 rounds of blank. You can see a lot of dots of powder that have embedded yeah. in the skin. What we're not getting out of this head is if your eye was there. Right. Because yep. that skin is so much thinner. So I'm going to say you're going to have burns for sure. Yeah. So it looks like the flare flame itself is basically mostly gone by the time it gets to the skin. It's kind of cool though in that frame by frame, you can kind of just watch it wrap around him. This is a good way to visualize why full auto is not that interesting in high speed. So if you look at the bolt carrier, you can see it's moving. It's just taken a while to impact on that next round. So fast. So if this were a gun with a bullet in it, that bullet would be long gone and we'd yep. have to wait around for the next bullet to come. There's at least a little bit of jiggle on the head, but not that much. Not a whole lot, no. Wow, it's a lot prettier at this speed because you can see it unfolding much more clearly. But look how it just illuminates his whole face. What do you think about sticking the muzzle right up against his eye socket? And just see what happens. That same, the, yeah. the blank gun? Yeah, almost give the pressure nowhere to go. You wanna try it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, so this is gonna be as close as we can really ever get it. We're gonna give the blank gun the best chance it's got of injuring our guy here. Okay, on you. Okay. <laughs> that definitely did a bit more. Yeah, we got some, we got something here. Okay. Um, oh boy. Way more devastating. Is that deposits or did it start melting? Yes. A little of both? To both. Because you can see where I moved the sticker. Like that's what we got from the last time. Got a tan line. Imagine that going into your eye and your eye socket. You you would lose your eye. Oh, 100%. This is why you wear safety glasses when you shoot. Ready? Yep. I'm ready for people to start hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button or we're not showing the high speed. Yeah. We'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his oh, whole yeah. eye socket expanded. Oh, you can see it ripple all the way across oh, his yeah. forehead. Let's go back to that flare. 
got nowhere to go. It, some of it got stuck in the socket and some of it went past the nose and some of it went down the cheek. That's cool. Look at that. It's like the Ghost Rider special effects. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everything just rippled. It looks like he got hit with a golf ball right in the eye. How that just ripples out so, so perfectly. So there was quite a bit of energy still in there. We had just given it too much room to, yeah. uh, to go. Cause not only is this like way more point blank, but that bowl, it catches it's, oh yeah. everything. It has to redirect it. Let's get some faster frame rate on this. Oh, <laughs> look at it coming back at you. Yeah. It's still yeah. venting and spinning in there. It had nowhere to go. Yeah, look, it's still going. Which makes sense how it was able to burn him and melt him is because all that heat's trapped in there just spinning around. Right. That's crazy. Look at that. So this is a case where a blank gun could transition from it will hurt to it could cause serious damage. That, You'd that lose eye, your eye. That eye's gone. And then it would just keep punching further back into your eye socket. <laughs> At this point, we're starting to knock some of those deposits loose and flinging them oh, back yeah. out of the socket. So there could have been a lot more in there. I mean, if you think about that as a, like a propane torch, basically just taking a propane torch and <laughs> yep but with barely any gap in between to cool off. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, I could look at this for a long yeah. time. This is crazy. <laughs> we need to step up the game though. 12 gauge? 12 gauge. 12 gauge. Phoenix rising military grade 12 gauge flashbang. See what happens. Oh. You ready? Yep, just give me a countdown. Okay, safety's off. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. He wasn't kidding when he said it was loud. <laughs> Did you see that immense flash? Oh my goodness. Uh, he looks different than last time we saw him. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. <laughs> well, we gave him an eye that we took away in the last one. Look, split it open. Oh yeah. Jesus. Um, it looks like that was very hot. Yeah. <laughs> the poor sticker. Let's quit looking at this. I want to see the high speed. Yeah. That's got to be immense. You're, you got to be dead. How is there still a bird here after that? <laughs> Get. <laughs> All, right. All right. So what do we do? This should be disproportionately more intense than the nine millimeter. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it's not stopping. <laughs> it's just, we just like manifested the oh sun. My. The sun is here. Our exposure time was about four microseconds. And look, it's still shoving stuff out. How in the... There's nothing to see. No. We need to... We need to do this again. Yeah. Otherwise, we're not going to see anything. So the minimum exposure this camera can do is about 260 nanoseconds. I think we're going to have to use that. And I don't use that very often. There's nothing to see. It's no. just... Look at his face. That's, it's just like a newt going off. They dropped the sun. <laughs> we got a little bit of particulates coming out the back. We got to reshoot it. We got to. I mean, like if you took a breath right there, I mean, that's going to go in your lungs. Yeah. Like you're, you're dead. Not to mention it's cooking you. <laughs> Look at him. And he stands there unfazed. <laughs> that's like if Superman was there yeah. and he just had some soot on his face. All right, uh, load up another one. We got to do it again. Yeah. Safety's off. Go for it. Three, two. Whoa! Whoa, what happened that time? <laughs> so something drastic just happened down. If I'm not mistaken, he was still smoking. Oh my. That's so much worse. Why is it different? It split his head open. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I was like this. <sighs> <laughs> This is oh eyes. I mean, the the other shot could have kind of prepped it a bit, started to split the material, and then not really dug into those cracks. I hope that comes through with your doing the underexposure. Well, we get to see it now. That's gonna be. I gave it our best chance. That is freaking gnarly. And we didn't quite catch it on camera, but he was still smoking. Yeah. <laughs> like 30 <laughs> seconds after he fell. That's so cool. And that sticker wrapped back perfectly and is still there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, it split his skull back there too. So what do you think? Would you survive this one? <laughs> Doctors react. <laughs> All right, let's go look at high speed. Okay. And hope we got something. I didn't think we were destroying him today. 
This was all guesswork, getting these cameras to expose. I couldn't see anything. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. <laughs> Ready? So we're gonna start with 3,000 frames a second. Okay. Not terribly impressive, but uh, here we go. Oh my gosh. So there oh, wow. is still some flame detail left to get. You can see exactly what's going on. But look, oh. does, it looks like there's some sort of object in there. I wonder if that's what well, the front seal for a thing. Ride, yeah. Boom! Look at that. It looks like we filmed at nighttime. Yep. But this is perfectly clear skies, and th this flame was lighting him up quite a lot. When it's on the way to him, he's just staring into death. <laughs> we need more frame rate. This isn't yeah. enough. No. I mean, this looks cool, but there's like in between this frame and that frame. I want to know what's going on in there. Right. Why is it going to him? Let's go find out. This is 15,000 frames 15, a second. Okay. So about five times more data than that one gave us. Okay, let's back like that up Inside a of a house fire. <laughs> let's do some frame by frame here. So there's our first spark. Immense fireball. Oh, look at that impact on his face. So that has to be whatever wound up in there, the wadding or whatever, must yeah. have drug a bunch of that with it. Oh yeah, look, you can see oh, it. it hit him in the eye. So it going faster must have just kind of created the channel for everything else. Yeah, so it like opened up some pockets and it just took over. Yeah. Let's see it in full motion. Oh my goodness. Oh. I don't have much else to say. We just need even more speed. All right, now <laughs> time for the next shot. All right, ready? 100,000 frames. And look at the exposure time. We're in the nanoseconds. That's why it's pitch black. Here it comes. Did you see that? <laughs> what is what? that? It was like a reverse shockwave. To me, it looks like something exploded on his forehead and sent a shockwave back into the other shockwave. Dude, this looks fake. Like, well, some will say it's fake. Yeah, this is unreal. But look at, look at it just erupting. I was very surprised at how long this continues to to ignite and push. Because even if you look back in here, you can see it's just this jet spewing out stuff. Even after it goes dark, we just can't see it. But those flames are so crisp. Sweet. Something about these first particulates hitting the ballistic gel just erupt and we get another shockwave traveling backwards. When you get propane and the flame is traveling through it, I think that's what that is. Right. It's trying to reach into it. So maybe that's why when all of it stops, it can suddenly deflagrate all of it. Right. And that's enough pressure, all this to someone's face. <laughs> Look at it. We gotta get you off the camera. You'll be here all day. <laughs> I almost wanna quit and go home and just look at this. <laughs> all right. I've packed on some extra safety gear. We have some balloons with propane in them, and we're gonna see if the fireball out of this blank gun will kick them off. So, here we go. You ready? High speed's ready. Wonderful. Well, my helmet darkened out, which meant there was flames. <laughs> Good to know. It's also warm over here. Yep, I felt it from here. Did ya? <laughs> this guy's having a bad day. That couldn't have felt good. <laughs> Is that like one of those satisfying peel off yeah. the, the layer of plastic on a new product? He got it pretty good. I mean, I felt a little bit of heat, so gotta, I, I know gotta, something happened here. We gotta do a, a, a shout out to Ballistic Dummy Lab right now. Oh yeah. These videos would not be nearly as interesting no. without these kind of targets. I mean, come on. And how often do these get used without bullets? Right. Like this is, I feel like this is really unique. Yeah. And he's still got some uses. We have a whole, you know, back of his head yet and some collarbones. Whoa. <laughs> what is it doing? And there we've got the, the refraction of the propane and its interaction with these other balloons. So the second one is probably what's going to ignite that then. So now there's just propane in the air. Let's see what the second shot does. Oh, you know what was happening? The air in front of the blank gun was so saturated with propane, it couldn't even do a proper Same. flare. And propane's dense. Okay, so now we've got more. So we've got two balloons worth. 
Let's see what happens now. Oh look, we've got some flame there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is it. Any second now? Oh, it's coming from underneath the stand. So that one you shot right into the side of that green one. Whoa, I think that was just heat. Just the heat, yep. Look how that tears apart. So the rescues are probably about to go about all at once. I think so. Oh, look at the <laughs> wet, whoa. Look at the way that peels. That was cool. Oh. So the yellows started to tear from the heat. Then the shot goes off. Look at the shockwave through the flames. Ooh, see that? Yeah. That's cool. Look how it goes through the flames. Reminds me of like lava lamps. Yeah. Oh, oh the purple one, one went off on its own. Or it was like, the blast carrying through just enough, but that back corner of it. It's almost taking up the whole screen here. <laughs> <laughs> what a great shot, yeah. honestly. But that happened so fast Look at that. that there's still a fire happening. We just got to narrate six or seven different balloons as they're going off. That's freaking I nuts. I think it's good to cut it there. We're yeah. starting to see his face there. Wow. Well, what'd you think? I had fun. Yeah. Expectations exceeded. Yes. For sure. Uh, far surpassed my expectations. Yeah. The, the brightness of that thing is, wow. I, I can still barely compute how bright that is. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it answers some questions. Obviously blanks are dangerous. Uh, I think everybody's known that. It's just a question of how dangerous. Yep. So we saw the difference that less than a foot to, you know, literally point blank, what difference that makes. Yes. But then also, nine millimeter is not the only caliber that has blanks. This is very true. 12 gauge. We're for sure gonna do some revisits to our more exotic, interesting shotgun rounds video. We've got some more dummies on the way, more torsos, all that good stuff. So thanks to you guys for watching the video. Yeah. Make sure you buy some merch to support us if you'd like. Head over to Patreon, follow us on social media. Got all sorts of teasers going on over there. Yep, more and more. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Oh, his eye. Poor dude. Thank <laughs> you.